Hello and welcome to my dirty kitchen. My name is Game Senor and today we are playing Minecraft 1.18 with almost no crafting or mining. Exception to the crafting is IO Vendor and I'm able to attack mobs and use interfaces or workstations like cartography table, but not crafting table. Rule of thumb is that anything that is obtainable by some right click action is okay and most left click actions are not okay. I'm playing on normal difficulty because I don't want to be stressed out all the time and the seat is random. This is also not a speed run or challenge run, but more of an exploration series. Also this is post commentary because my in-game commentary sucked and the sound quality was horrible. Hope this will be better. I spawned in the forest with beach nearby so I decided to check the coastline in hope for a wreck. Abandoned wrecks, ruined nether portals and villages are our main source of early game equip and tool, which we probably gonna use in some unintentional way. I didn't find any wreck, but I found an underwater ruined nether portal with some tools, golden apple and two pieces of obsidian. Unfortunately, no armor. Now my hunger bar went down to the point to not allow me to sprint, so I decided to kill some cows. This took forever, but after obtaining some beef tatar, I picked a direction in hope to find a village. After a little while the forest subsided to the plains, which is good because the plains could generate villages and those are easily spotted. I used my golden shovel to acquire some pork and mutton, but it was already getting dark and then I spotted a village. I quickly kicked some villagers off his own bed and skipped the night and then decided to explore the village. I didn't find any loot, but I did find a smith table and a blast furnace. Blast furnace is especially lucky and important find, because a villager could become armor, who could sell a shield and that's the only way how to obtain a shield without crafting it. And I want one. Unfortunately the game generates a block above any blast furnace at least in plains and savannah villages, which prevents any villager to take the job. I of course can't mine it, so it's time to be creative and employ a nearby creeper. My spawn is set in the village, so even if I die, it wouldn't be a problem. I survived, but unfortunately I didn't obtain the blast furnace. I decided to worry about it later and leave the village. It also starts raining, so I venture into the savannah. I found an abandoned mine shaft near surface and may be easily accessible, but without armor I didn't want to explore it. Save it for later I guess. Just behind it I found another village, this time even with some loot and cartography table, which will make this much easier. Yes, I can use any other table but crafting one. This is my series, my rules. Now I found a second chest, I transferred all items I didn't need on me there create a map and explore the rest of the village, found another cartography house and chest with some emeralds and food. Decide to magnify the map to help me in my travels and then it got dark. Sadly I waited too long and then I couldn't skip the night. Because monsters nearby as four zombies congregated at the door. So I decided to wait the night. Yep, the whole 10 minutes. After sunrise I barged through the door, zombies caught fire, I finished them with a shovel and everything was ok. I created the map on a regrettable spot as now I'm forced to go back north where the spawn is. Little while later I found another ruined portal and this one is golden. Not only loot chest contained some armor and flint and steel, but also it could be transformed into working one with just 4 more obsidian blocks. With flint and steel in my hand, the oldest of Minecraft tricks came back to me. Yes, it's time for some roasted meat. Goodbye beef tatar, hello crisp chicken breasts. Hugging side of the map and continuing north, I made some friends along the way who helped me to get a bow. After a while I got back to the spawn and rediscovered my very first nether portal. With no boat I choose to follow the coastline once more, fighting monsters by night and committing arson by day. As you can see in the map I left out some of the coastline but here I am with my luckiest find yet. Abandoned wreck, underwater nether portal and an ocean ruin all in one spot. Also an ocean monument but there's no point of going there in this series. Nether portal yielded finally some weapon and another golden apple. Wreck was intact which means it contained three chests. I found some iron, emeralds, 
moss and treasure map which I forgot to check and the ocean ruin chest had some wheat and fishing rod. Not best of the loot but at least something. I was so happy to finally have a weapon that the game decided to remind me how crappy golden tools are. But then I found another ruined portal on my way back to the map village. This time with some golden axes and glistering melons. Which can't be eaten but it can be turned into some potions much 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 later. I found another plain village a little bit southwest of the portal with a little bit of food and a church. Which means brewing stand but nothing else. So when I finally arrived back to the map village I transferred all my loot in the secure chest and call it a day. Then I realized I never checked the treasure map and apparently it will be in the little spot I cut out from the map. It looks like the treasure could be on the land and not in the water which means it could be acquired with a little help from creepers. I also lost my friend along the way so we need to pick him up somewhere. But that will be a story for another time. So thank you for watching, leave a like if you please and goodbye.